Amp. This week we got something brand new from Cadillac. This is the debut car, the all new Cadillac Lyric, all new electric car by Cadillac. And we're gonna take this beautiful thing out for a spin and, and see if it's gonna put a little bit of heat on our EV cars as far as the Teslas. You know, everybody's coming out with the BMW has an EV Mercedes. So we're gonna see if it can compete with them. That's what we got coming up. I'm Jay Walker, watching Life Off Road. Ryo did up most for Welcome to another episode of Life Off Road. Thanks again for hitting that play button, folks. And remember to go to my YouTube channel, like and subscribe, hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. The vehicle we're featuring this week is something all new from Cadillac. This is actually our first Cadillac we've had on the show. This is the all new debut car. The Lyric is what it's called. And it's an EV from Cadillac. It's brand new. As you can tell, the car is very stunning in person. I mean, it's a beautiful car. This is actually a 2023 model here. And when this car actually debuted, you had to kind of get on a waiting list to, to get your name on the list to be ordered to get this car. And we'll talk about that with this owner in a few minutes. But I just wanted to go over overall basis of the car. Just looking at the car, I mean, this is what Cadillac envisions as far as the EV the look I mean this one has roughly around 340 horsepower 325 foot-pounds of tor uh, torque it comes in with a set of 22 inch Michelin wheels you can get 20s with these of course if you want the longer mile range out of it, you can get 20 20 uh, inch wheels on it but these have the 22s very good looking car this is rear drive only car I think the all-wheel drives come out for next year's model so this is rear drive only. As we come around to the back of the car, I really want to show you guys, I mean, just looking at it, I mean, everything is pretty much, it's so futuristic just looking at it. Looking at the back, you kind of got the V-shaped lenses right here with the tail lamps. I mean, it's very beautiful just looking at it. Of course, your iconic Cadillac badge here. If you notice on the rear window right here, there's no windshield wiper right here. Now, Cadillac designed this. This is kind of a flow air where air kind of comes through here and basically brushes off the water so you don't have the, the windshield wiper. That's something that they envisioned, but it's a very good looking car. I, I, I love the car. I mean, this is it's very stunning to look at it. So we're definitely going to take it out for a spin, but I want to just show the overall look of the car. This color here, I believe, is called the Stellar Black Metallic. I believe this car only has four different colors that you can get. I think it's a, a black, the silver, the white, and I believe it's a, a blue color as well. However, when it was first ordered, I think you only had two choices, either the black or the silver. But enough of me rambling. I want to bring out the owner of this car because I really want them to come out and explain the car and explain the whole process of getting the car. So I want to bring in my friend Chevette. She wants to come in here and uh, talk about this beautiful ride. Shavette, how you doing? Great, thank you for having me. Thanks, thanks for coming on. So, this is your bay. I understand that your husband actually <laughs> picked this car out. So, and I yeah. heard it was kind of a, this was brought, This I believe this was debuted on one of the Super Bowl commercials. And I think from a couple of years ago, and he yes. just happened to, to see it and <laughs> went on in to get online. So tell us that whole process. Like, how did all that work as far as y'all so, getting the car? So we were we happened to be watching the Super Bowl. I believe it was 2020. And we, of course, the Super Bowl commercials. My husband saw the commercial and he liked the car. And this is our third Cadillac. And so he called the dealership to um, Classic Cadillac where we get all of our cars from. Okay. And he spoke to our rep there and he gave him all the information and said that we would have to pre-order this vehicle, gave us all the information, kept us updated. Mm -hmm. And so when that, that time came, it was September of 2021. So I was on the laptop my husband was on the cell phone then I also had my cell phone <laughs> and so we both was we went in and you had to actually pre-order everything so we had to pick the color we had right. to pick the um, the 22 inch wheels was actually an upgrade okay so that was the only thing that was an upgrade and the color black 
actually um, is considered an upgrade because there was a charge for black. Okay. So really it only came in the one silver color, but you could get black, but black was an upgrade. And so um, I think on our computer, it kept spinning and spinning and spinning. And so Antoine said, check your email. So <laughs> I checked my email and it said that we were one of the lucky 1,500 people to get the car. Out of the and whole country. Out of the whole country, wow. yes. Yes. Yeah, it's basically like a big lottery. That's one of the worst things. Kind of like going to Ticketmaster trying to get some Beyonce concerts or something. Yes. Everybody is loaded up and... The yeah. last thing you want to see is that icon kind of spinning and you're like, oh, God, you think it might have froze up. And then you're like, yes, do I have to restart this whole ordeal? And that's that's yeah. that had to been kind of nerve wracking. But it I'm was. And what sealed the deal was our um, sales rep. He actually called us the very next day and mm -hmm. says, wow, you guys are lucky. <laughs> and so um, from that point, we were just kind of waiting and waiting and waiting. We thought that we were going to get the vehicle in July of 22. Wow. But we didn't actually uh, get it until January. OK. Yes. Yeah. So roughly you, you guys have had the car few couple of months maybe now? yes couple of months okay. yes and I have to say this is my third Cadillac yeah. and I didn't realize what I had in the beginning right until I got all the looks and the stares yeah because the compliments it so. definitely <laughs> stands out on its own I mean people yeah. I always say this in my videos the cameras do it no justice when you see this thing yeah in person I mean it's it's just stunning, and that's what Cadillac has always been yes. all these years. One I mean, the coolest won. features is on this vehicle is the charge port, and you're kind of looking like, where's the charge port? Well, it's right here. You sit here and press the emblem, and voila. Good day, Mr. Bond. You know, little James Bond reference or whatever. But this is where you plug in. I'm assuming you have your, your outlets that where you can plug in. I believe... The regular station charges maybe, I want to say it's 56 miles in an hour as far as charge. And um, the interior is nice. I want to go over the interior real quick. Uh, let's let's take a look at that and, and uh, see what we got on the inside. All right, folks. So we are inside the car now, and this is like i said it's only as futuristic as as cadillac gets let's let's start it up real quick i want to let you guys well you're not gonna be able to hear it because it's electric but let's just start it up and look at this beautiful touch screen i believe it's 33 inches beautiful gauge cluster i really love how this is just set up the whole kind of concave look is very very stunning I see I'm going to have to close the door because that chime is going to be going the whole time. Right, but like I said, your whole menu here, this is very beautiful inside and out. Now, as far as, I see people want to text me. Like I said, the one piece, like Cadillac has always had the one piece screen in here as far as even when you look at the older Cadillacs even the ones built in the 60s they always had the, the speedometer as a part of the dash it's always been kind of this one piece you know other car companies have the big screen that's down here in the middle which is cool I know Mercedes has theirs but this style here I pretty much like I believe BMW has the whole one piece screen right in here as well now this has a very nice sound system in here Chevette um I believe it comes with 19 speakers or so or yes it's a aks 19 speaker system and when i tell you sometimes i have to catch myself because i come through the neighborhood blasting <laughs> because you can't even tell that it's really up i mean it's it the system is so nice it's so clear mm -hmm. and it's really nice one of my one of my favorite features of the vehicle man and 19 speakers folks even you have some speakers in the headrest right here which is sounds amazing i mean you feel like you're in your own studio section in this thing this right here the console right here is very nice you have your cadillac badge your mouse i mean you can touch everything right here i'm assuming but if you want to control some stuff you can mark down and just do all your good stuff through this part of the car here um let's see you have your home page you have um 
I believe it was a couple other features you had. I believe that's your Google Maps. Of course, you go to your music. I believe one of these is your sound. I saw something where there's your battery information as far as your charge, your DC fast battery condition, your home charging, all this good stuff. I mean, everything you need is, is right here. Let's go back to the home page here. You have your AC. Everything is, uh, this is still push button right here. It's not completely touched, but uh, I believe you have your compartment right here, a little hidden compartment that you can push in. Uh, slides right out. Had a few uh, Twinkies in there if you wanted. Of course, we won't be eating any Twinkies in here. Cup holders. I love this cup holder. I actually left my JW Motorsports tumbler because we normally do the test to see if it holds. And as you can see, I believe this piece here, if you had a mug, you could slide the mug in here because I believe this actually comes up. But it's very nice. You have your whole floor. There's really no center console here. Believe it or not, this is a one-speed transmission so it's only one speed so you don't have the whole drive shaft deal because your batteries is sitting underneath the car so uh everything from like i said the door panels you have here you have your glass this is not a sunroof this is actually just a glass roof and i believe you can open up the curtains uh how do we do that as far as the demonstration uh, press the, there we go And this is very cool. As you see, it gets quite dark. Now, I'm sure at nighttime, the interior of this looks, I'm sure it looks very amazing. I'm sure you could probably change the different lights and everything in here. Yes, so right now I have it on red. Mm -hmm. So at nighttime, it looks like the Night Rider. <laughs> oh, wow, see? So it's red on the inside, the interior. Well, the, the lights are red. They run in the floorboards and on the side of each door. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. So it, it looks very cool at nighttime. Cool, cool. Also, one other feature I was going to mention to you is the glove box is not your normal glove box where you push and have a key open the that's glove That's right. Box. I believe it's, it's a little button or somewhere. It's from, the, from oh, the cluster. Oh, that's right. From the cluster. Yes. Okay. Well, it's glove box release. There we go. And voila, this thing is full of surprises, folks. Like I said, it's very James Bondish, you know, Cadillac. That's what you get out of Cadillacs, you know. This steering wheel is amazing. I love this steering wheel. One thing you're going to realize also in this vehicle is this vehicle doesn't share any other compartments with any other Cadillac vehicle. I mean, it really stands out on its own. The only thing that's probably close is probably the gauge cluster because I believe I've seen these in the new Escalades, but I think Escalade has a, another piece that kind of sits right here that's in front of this whole piece. But other than that, all of this is just exclusive to this particular car. So you have your features right here as far as your Bluetooth, your music, everything. Like I said, this is a very, very nice steering wheel. So I'm ready to take this thing for a drive. Can we take it for a ride? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's go for a ride. Feel like I'm in the episode of the Jetsons. All right, here we go. The all new 2023 Cadillac Lyric. And folks, this thing is absolutely amazing. It's breathtaking. I mean, it's, it's all, it's so many words. Is, is, it it kind of leaves you speechless. This is all new from Cadillac. This is the debut. So um, right off the bat, as you can tell, the, the vehicle is very smooth as only a Cadillac should be. Right now, we're just in, in, in the regular mode right now. Uh, we'll, we'll put it in sport mode as we, we get going. But... Uh, this thing, man, it's amazing. 
this is all new like i said when these you had to get on a waiting list to get one of these and like if you heard charvet explain in the beginning of the video you had to be kind of at your computer your iphone your tablet whatever you needed to get on this list because the first year they only built 1500 of these and i believe there are only either two or three in the entire state of georgia so this is very a very exclusive car and i'm sure you can't notice on camera but a lot of people have been giving it stares i mean it's it it, it sticks out i mean it's, of course it's a cat like it's going to stick out but this is just this is special interior is very nice you know you have like i said the whole one piece gauge cluster here with the screen you know, I, I kind of like this way with the screen as far as better as far as having the separate square screen on the on the on the dash i think this whole one piece i just think it blends very well with the car compared to having the big nav screen because everybody wants to have the biggest nav screen you know the 20 inch 17 inch or whatever but the whole one piece thing is very it's very nice. I mean, it blends in with the car very well. Of course, this thing is absolutely quiet because it's electric, but I mean, this thing drives, it literally drives like a car. Literally. When you look at the car, its wheelbase is actually longer than the standard Escalade. I mean, it's hard to believe, but the, the actual wheelbase, not saying that the exact car, but the wheelbase is, is a little bit longer than your standard Escalade. And you can tell by having the longer wheelbase on how well this thing really drives and maneuvers. Now, this is just the beginning brand, folks. So I'm sure they're gonna come out with a V edition of this. I mean, you have to. I know when the all-wheel drive comes out, that's going to have the dual motor. So you have the motor in the front on top of the motor in the rear. And that's going to make this thing roughly around 500 horsepower. I believe the front motor that's going to control the front wheels is probably about 160 horsepower. I believe this, it might not be the same exact motor that comes on the new Corvette E-Ray. Because I know the E-Rays have that same particular front motor that gives it 160 horsepower. But once you get that motor all-wheel drive looking at 500 horsepower the v edition and i'm sure that's going to be an absolute monster but this right here is just all luxury you know just the styling i mean it's, it's a cadillac i mean what more what more can you expect so far it drives very nicely the range on this is roughly around i believe they say it's 312 miles uh, Not sure as far as how much I believe we're about almost halfway full of juice right now. We need to try the one pedal mode here. Very nice, very nice. Cadillac is very, very nice. This thing is pretty heavy. Of course it's it's heavy because of the most part. The batteries and everything is 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 underneath the car so this car weighs roughly around 55 5600 pounds so it's it's not light but it doesn't i mean it doesn't feel heavy at all i mean it, it, it really doesn't and like i said once you have the all-wheel drive feature it's going to really make this thing get out and, and dance but you know that's that's not really what this is all about i mean this is exclusive just to be in cadillac luxury road trip i mean the whole shebang i mean this thing is is definitely amazing and we are getting a lot of stairs folks a lot of stairs oh, good power makes good power <laughs> makes real good power y'all know me I'm always a creature of habit when it comes to power all 
All right, folks, we are in sport mode. <laughs> and uh, it, it, I keep listening for the engine, but even in sport mode, just the electric part of this car, man, it sounds, it, it just, the demeanor of the car just changed. Let's just, let's just say that. Let's just say that. We have 178 miles of range that's left right now. Uh, let's roll. Yeah, let's roll. I mean, it almost sounds like a car. It drives like a car for sure. <laughs> <laughs> oh man this is amazing man this is amazing you can't never go wrong with sport mode folks just never can ultra smooth folks ultra smooth but like Charvette said, they had to get on the list, man. And they were, like I said, they were the lucky ones to get their hands on one of these. And there's a long waiting list for the 2024s. And I believe the 2024s, you're going to have probably around the same amount of options. You might have maybe one or two things that might be, be different. But for the most part, it's pretty much the same ordeal. You, know, you get the 22-inch wheels. You know, you have the option for the, the dual motor, which is all wheel drive. And it's, I think you probably going to pay for a little bit more options on the 2024s, but there's a long list, a waiting, waiting list for this. Of course, like any other new car, you have all your safety features. You know, you get kind of too close to a a vehicle or exit out your lane, you know, it has a mitigation system that kind of vibrates the seat or the steering wheel to let you know that uh, you're following too close or whatnot. Yeah, man, this, this is absolutely amazing. Sounds like a spaceship, man. Literally sounds like a spaceship. <laughs> I do like the steering wheel. The steering wheel is a nice sporty look. I believe this, this steering wheel is probably similar to the one that's in the black wing. We need to get our hands on one of those black wings. Those are a nice car, 650 horsepower. I mean, that's a, that's a badass car. But like I said, Cadillac standards, you know, you have your seat controls here. This thing does have a full massage as it's giving me a massage right now as we speak. <laughs> that's very, very lovely. Like I said, it's a Cadillac, man. It does it does everything. You know, it's just it's what it's supposed to do. And like I said, this thing is is it's not a burner, folks. I mean, it's 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 a luxury car, but I mean, it's, it's it does just enough. I mean, it's 340 horsepower is nothing to sneeze at. 325 foot pounds of torque. I mean, that's it's nothing to sneeze at. There, see, there goes the 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 buzzer. It actually pops up in your windshield as well. A little red light that lets you know that you're either following too close or doing too much as far as the vehicles. This is nice, man. I mean, it's, 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 it's kind of almost <laughs> leaving me speechless. These start out at around $62,000, which you might say is a lot of money, but compared to most of the other electric vehicles, I think some of the Tesla models, I think I remember when Tesla first came out, those were almost $100,000 cars, you know, especially once you've got the, the different modes. So $62,000 for all that you get with this is actually a, a pretty good bargain. I mean, even even it's more or less expensive than the BMW i4, I believe, but it's still in that ballpark range as far as pricing. But you get a lot of bang for your buck. And I believe when the all-wheel drive uh, 
vehicle comes out, it's only it's only gonna be like an extra two grand more. I mean, it's not it's not gonna be nothing astronomical where it's gonna bump it up to seventy, eighty thousand. I mean, this thing is is basically, you know, it's gonna be very competitive in the other markets as far as competing for the electric market. And I think Tesla has definitely had some heat on them the last couple of years because when Tesla's first came out, I mean, they was different, they was unique, but they kind of really didn't look much of, of like anything, you know, to be honest with you. They're not really the greatest looking cars, you know, I mean, they, they're different, you know, but once other manufacturers started adding their pizzazz and even putting the electric deal in some of their standard cars, I mean, that really kind of changed the game up. You know, it really did from BMW taking the four series, you know, the Mustang Mach-E, even though that's a new, you know, electric vehicle, but even down to this, I mean, this this just doesn't look like, you know, Tesla S. I mean, it looks, it looks like a Cadillac. It looks like one of the concept cars that they did from early in the years. I mean, it's, it's definitely a beautiful ride. I mean, I can't really complain and stress how much of a great job these guys did in designing these. And this is the wave of the future. I, you know, I keep hearing 2030, that's gonna be the, the last year and the beginning where all vehicles are gonna be fully electric, folks. So you're gonna have to take a get ready pill and embrace it because that's where that's where technology is going now so you know it's 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 kind of a, a big change you know some people like it some people don't but that's the way of the world now and you know if it's something like this that i get a chance to drive hey i'm all for it you know as long as it has the power i can do what i want with it you won't hit no complaints out of me you know it's kind of like with the with the cell phones you got to adjust you know back in the day we all had flip phones now we got the iPhone that we cannot live without our phone so you know you have to embrace it that's it and of course you have your different modes folks you have your store uh, tour sport mode snow and ice you know you can customize the my mode if you want to put it on a different mode you know it's all kinds of bells and whistles to this thing the overall styling of this thing is is beautiful. I mean, great visibility out of front, you know, from the hood. I mean, the, the little curves. I mean, it's a lot of attention to detail with this this particular car. You know, you try to figure out is the car, is the SUV, is the crossover. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of in between. It definitely drives like a car for sure. Well, that's it for this week. I want to thank my good friend Antoine and his lovely wife, Charvita, for uh, letting us drive this. This, I mean, this, it's just amazing. I'm just speechless, man. I mean, this is a beautiful car. I mean, Cadillac has really outdone themselves with this one. And get on the waiting list, folks, because 2024, I mean, you might want to get on that list now because it's a lot of folks that's waiting to get their hands on one of these. And, it's an honor to be one of the first ones to actually drive one of these. Like I said, there are only maybe two or three in the entire state of Georgia. So that just goes to show how exclusive this thing is. I want to get a quick shout out to uh, my subscribers. Uh, first off, uh, Charvetta had to run. She's a realtor. You know, she does real estate, so she had to run. But uh, if you want to interested in buying a house, you know, I'll put her info right here and you could be able to hit her up and she can help you with all her good needs as far as buying a house. But let me give a quick shout out to my newest subscribers. Uh, let's see here. We have a Walk to Memes, Westside TV, Luis Navarro, Maestro, Sadir Usman, J Smooth Whips, Noble Stanford, and Gary E. Williams. Thank you guys so much for liking and subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please, folks, subscribe to my channel. Go to the website, J Dub Motorsports. Or do you use some merch, t-shirts, we got the tumblers, we do have the tumbler test where it actually fits in the cup holder, so that's always a plus. You know, we're coming out of the winter and going to the spring, so it's going to be an excellent summer, so a lot of you guys stay safe out there, but again, you know, support the YouTube channel and always hit that subscribe. And to my subscribers, I always thank you guys for subscribing and checking me out. I also want to thank my help, my son, 
Jawan, one of my camera guys, his buddy Kyle, who always helps me out. You can look up there, Instagram right here. I won't try to mention their names because the last time I did that, I butchered it around. But uh, you can hit them up on IG, follow them, give them a follow and like their stuff. They take amazing pictures. They always help me look good. So uh, I appreciate it. But um, we're gonna take this back because I still got about roughly another hour or so. So I'm not ready to give this up. So we'll see you next time. Later.